Hey, it's Kevin here with Hardscape Training Canada. Let's check out how to drill, wedge and feather, and split some big stone. I got these wedge and feathers from Micon Stone Tools out of Vancouver. Really nice little set. I have enough to do four holes. Got a pretty good sized boulder here. Gonna bust out the old handy Hilti hammer drill. Let's get set up. We need to choose a bit that allows us to put the wedge and feathers both in the hole so that we can drive some pressure into the stone. Let's get geared up. Knee pads, hearing protection, eye protection. We're gonna create some silica dust, so we definitely need to mask up. get into it. So we're just going to establish where our holes need to go. Typically like to space them out about six to eight inches or so. So we only need three holes for this and make a center mark and then we'll just even out the space in between the edge of the stone and the center just to make a couple of reference points here with the marker. Fire the hammer drill into hammer and spin mode. Away we go. want to hit a depth of about four inches. It's going to allow us to maximize the depth of the wedge to drive the force that we need into the stone. Let's see the next two in hyperspeed here. And this is why we need a mask. That's a lot of silica dust hitting the air. Fun to watch though. All right, so we're gonna group our wedge and feathers together and we're gonna place it in so that the wedge is sticking up from the feathers enough that we're gonna be able to drive it down and create that pressure and we're not gonna accidentally hammer the feathers. So they all have to fit in the hole and we're just gonna lightly tap and set them in place before we start really hammering. Once we're happy with our setup, we're gonna to start to evenly place pressure across the stone. Sometimes you have to reset them like I did there. You can feel the pressure start to increase as we're striking and as we drive that wedge down. You actually hear the pitch gets higher and higher on the wedges as we strike them as well. So we wanna make sure that that's even across all three. So we're driving an even amount of pressure throughout the stone. Just had to reset that front one again. Let's drive it home. You can usually hear it start to crack a strike or two before it actually splits all the way through. Satisfaction. A nice clean split on this big chunk of sandstone. We can use more for larger stones. Wedge and feather, splitting boulders apart. See you next time.